depends on what kind of glaucoma you have, but there are various treatment options available in the management of glaucoma. Usually the first line of treatment is eye drops, but in certain diseases such as angle closure glaucoma, you may actually need to perform laser on the eye. That may even be preventive of developing what is known as acute angle closure glaucoma where the eyeball pressure can become very high suddenly. Other treatments such as uh, surgery is usually reserved for patients who are not responsive to medical treatment. In general, the glaucoma specialist is probably the best person to devise a plan of management for, for you if you have glaucoma. Uh, because if you have secondary glaucoma, for example, the underlying disease that's causing the glaucoma may need to be addressed first. There are many types of eye drops that are available now for the treatment of glaucoma and it's getting more and more effective so that many patients actually, this may be the only option they require to manage the disease. Eye drops are usually have to be applied daily. Eye drops are usually generally safe, except in certain patients with predisposing systemic diseases. The doctor will usually ask you about your medical history before they prescribe the eye drops for you. They can have eye drops being applied topically to the eye can have local side effects such as causing discomfort, you know, allergies or pigmentation around the eye or redness of the eye. These are some of the localized side effects of the eye drops. And this usually can be managed by, you know, switching the class of eye drops or changing to eye drops with less preservatives and so forth. And the doctor can actually do this for you while you are on follow-up for this for the management of glaucoma. Okay, laser treatments are also available for management of glaucoma. The kind of laser treatment that's uh, being used will depend on the type of glaucoma you have. And the purpose of uh, doing it will depend on whether it is to lower the pressure or to actually you know, widen the outflow angle of the eye. In the closed angle type of glaucoma, we have a form of treatment called laser peripheral iridotomy which is commonly performed. It is a low-risk procedure that can prevent acute buildup of pressure within the eye. We also have laser treatment for open-angle glaucoma in which laser is applied to the trabecular meshwork in the angle of the eye so that it will improve the outflow of fluid from the eye. The effect of laser treatment may not be permanent uh, and therefore in patients who are not responsive to either medical or laser therapy, or become not responsive to medical and laser therapy, we will need to resort to surgery. Incisional surgery on the eye that is performed for the management of glaucoma normally creates an alternative pathway for the outflow of fluid from within the eyeball to outside the eye. This is because you know the outflow of fluid from the normal pathway is inadequate to maintain a low pressure. So there are many kinds of surgery available to make an alternative outflow. The commonest kind of surgery is called trabeculectomy, where there's, we perform a little passageway for outflow fluid on the top part of the eyeball. Or we can put in implants that can drain the fluid from within the eye to without the eye. And again, the kind of surgery that's best for your kind of glaucoma can only be decided for you by a glaucoma specialist.